Uh, hi everyone, my name is Dr. Santosh Kumar Gupta, I am from Hyderabad. Basically, I am a medical coding trainer. I have experience of more than two decades in the medical coding of WHO standards. Trained more than 12,000 coders and uh, went through 300 hours of examinations and uh, got 43 certifications in medical coding and I uh, got India Book of Records. <coughs> Today, I am here uh, to discuss about the importance of medical coding in India and the benefits and also how it is going to save the lives and provide the quality health care for the Indian health, Indian health care system. So what is medical coding? So medical coding is not a computer programming. Medical coding means assigning the alphanumeric codes for each and every medical record. In developed countries like USA, Australia, etc., whenever a patient goes to a physician or a pharmacy or a lab or hospital, the physician creates a medical record and then this medical record given to the medical coders the medical coder assigns the medical code as per the standards of WHO, AME, American Medical Association, and AHA, American Hospital Association. And we have more than 1.5 lakh codes. From these 1.5 lakh codes, we extract some uh, codes required for the medical record and submit these codes to the insurance companies and to the government. So based upon these codes, insurance companies provide the payment to the physician and the government will analyze the disease trend through the medical codes. Because suppose uh, if you do bypass surgery, or appendectomy operation. The record may be more than three to four pages. But it's highly impossible to read someone to analyze exactly what was done. But here medical coding gives a clear story exactly what was happened. So medical coding is what the translation of the medical record into the medical codes, just like UPI ID, like Google Pay, Phone Pay, right? So these are way how we do the medical coding. So let me give an example here. For example, a 40-year-old patient went to a physician with diabetes and hypertension, blood glucose test was done and found hyperglycemia is there. Doctor has given some insulin shot for 5 units, for example. Now here, uh, to read this story, it may take 30 minutes for a insurance company to give the payment. But what we do here, medical coders, what they do, they read the record, assign the codes, for example, diabetes code is E11.65, hypertension, I10. Like this, for every disease, for every procedure, for every treatment, whatever we do, for every drug we prescribe, we assign the medical codes and submit to the government and to the insurance companies. This is called medical coding. So we have so many medical codes like IC10, CM, PCS, CPT, etc. All are the standard codes from WHO. Okay. So now let's discuss why medical coding. Medical coding is must for the data, especially for data to track the disease outbreaks. It requires for the statistics. See, without data, we won't get statistics. So what? So for example, let's take the example of COVID-19. Three years ago, when you seen that COVID-19 cases are more than five lakhs in the TV. We are sitting in the home, right? Because there are five lakh cases in, the, in India. But today, less cases are there very earlier. Why? Because, so, when we get the numbers, we know what's happening in the country. So, this, this is possible only if you do the medical coding. Same like COVID-19, even malaria, typhoid, cancer, everything is dangerous to life, right? But we don't have data about the other diseases. We have data only about the COVID-19. So, medical coding helps in, to get the proper data for the statistics and helps in the disease communication. And medical coding data, whatever we get, it, sells for, it helps the, in the predictive analysis. It's like a traffic inspector or airline inspector or a, a meteorologist. What they do, they take the historical data, they collect the data from various sources, and they predict that stop is going to come up two or three days. The same way, even healthcare also needs some prediction. What is going to the future, healthcare cost in the future. So how we get this data? Only by doing the medical coding. So medical coding is there in India as of now, but done only by the Government hospitals, but private hospitals, they are not doing the medical coding. And medical coding helps in the reducing the medical errors. So, you know, most of the errors, most of this are causing due to the medical errors, especially because maybe lack of knowledge or something like that. But here, the medical coding provides proper data, proper communication that these two drugs cannot be given together. Doctors may know very well these two drugs cannot be given together, but they don't know what's happening in the current trend in the country. So, this is possible only by doing the medical coding. And the medical coding data is useful for the clinical research especially and prevents the fraud abuse. When coming to the fraud abuse here, you know very well, a lot of people they prescribe antibiotics, antidepressants, sedatives. There is no accountability for the prescription what I am giving. There is no accountability for the MRI scans, CT scans. Because I have, I have instrument, MRI machine, I may do thousands of MRIs per month. So, where is accountability? So, like in developing countries, when you do the medical coding, government gets proper data. Okay, this doctor prescribing this much of antibiotics per day. This doctor doing this much of MRI scans per day. 
this helps the government to analyze the fraud abuse in the healthcare and medical coding helps in the claim processing by the health insurance companies and enhanced transparency in the healthcare system because when you give the data so medical coders can analyze retrospectively what was happened for example a patient admitted in a hospital icu maybe for 3 or 4 days bill is maybe around 4 to 5 lakhs patient is discharged to the home then what happens nobody is there to check the medical record what exactly was done to the patient on, the, on those 3 to 4 days so medical coders they check line by line drug by drug what was why patient came what treatment was given this way they analyze the data and submit to the government for the quality healthcare let's take the example of covid pandemic now as per the niti ayog as per the mhw there are more than 45 million cases in india and 530000 fatalities throughout the india imagine if all these 45 million cases with medical coding was done for all these cases today you would have got a wonderful data which shows okay 40 years patient with obesity these are following with the covid 19 35 years old with diabetes these are following with the covid 19 because we don't we are not done the medical coding we are we are facing a lot of problem we are spending lakhs of billions of dollars for the covid 19 prevention and for treatment but still there is no proper data there is no proper statistics so this is the importance of the medical coding in the indian healthcare system so medical coding is a silent life saver that is seen as healthcare process and improves the accuracy in the medical records this is very very important because so, so many times people they go to the a court essay that helps in the legal uh, the, the legal issues and provides a better health care resource allocation that's possible only by the medical code because we can analyze the trend exactly where to upon the staff properly for which department and uh, it helps to analyze the cause and effect relationship i'll give some example in in india in some cities some small place somebody got monkey pox but how government know that this guy is monkey pox no there is no way of communication so medical coding is going to help you to get the proper communication with the medical coding data so what happens in america what happens is when a patient comes with some disease like malaria monkey pox immediately we we'll assign the medical code and this code goes to the government and governments will be alert that okay this problem this person has the monkey pox in this particular area this way coding is going to help you in the evidence based treatment and control the disease and <clears throat> healthcare digitalization we know very well uh, the airlines share market everything is digitalized in india healthcare is not digitalized doctors are using emr ehr in the hospitals we make digital record but there is not digitalization to digitalize health records yes we require the medical coding so medical coding is the only way where they can digitalize the healthcare records which is useful for the statistics in usa medical coding start 50 years ago i have seen in us i worked in us for 7 years the country is yes they saving lot of lives and saving billions of dollars because they do medical coding because from past 50 years they have data so they can take the proper decision making they can do prediction as standards health care and develop the health insurance policies because they have the data from past 50 years so developed countries coding is there like australia america everywhere and they they do a lot of cost control and pre- and coding prevents the medical negligence and develop the policies for the health insurance companies coming to the cost control if you see bypass surgery in some cities may cost 5 lakhs other cities may cost 3 lakhs some cities may cost 8 lakhs why the cost difference maybe geographical area wise difference may be there so how government knows that this hospital charging this much it is possible only by doing the medical coding of the medical records so this way coding helps in the cost control and coming to the health insurance in india so as per the niti ayog report 40 crore indians don't have any health insurance 20% only can offer the health care insurance health care facilities 40 40 crore population they don't have any health insurance assume even if 10 crore people start taking the insurance in next 3 to 4 years insurance company cannot withstand the medical records because they can't process the claims they can't read the records every day because for i give an example 20 years ago when i when i want the money i used to go to bank fill the form for even for 100 rupees also but today we use google pay phone pay so within seconds i get the money same way here now if everyone takes health insurance comp- health insurance policies maybe 10 crore population next to 3 to 4 years in just company they cannot process the claim just like that if they may take four to five weeks or four to five months to process the claims so medical coding helps you for the fast claim processing that's the beauty of the medical coding so in healthcare india <coughs> the market is more than 660 billion dollars by 2025 as per the pib report and expenditure of current healthcare industry is 5 lakh 40 crores 5 lakh 40000 to 246 crores even unable to <coughs> 
tell the figure also because it's such a huge amount of figure, right? 5 lakh 246 crores spending for the healthcare in India. This much of money to spend properly to right place, the right person, we require data. So as of now, we don't have any data from the private hospitals, private healthcare entities. If we do the medical coding, this amount can be spent properly by the government. And private healthcare is significant in India because in India, healthcare is dominated more by the private healthcare entities only, like hospitals, labs, etc. And uh, as of now, we don't have any central reporting system. So in US, we have a central reporting system where every doctor, every lab, every pharmacy, even they sell one tablet also, that's on the code, they, they report to the government, like how we report the GST income tax like that. So we require a central reporting system in India by through medical coding. What are the benefits here? Benefit is we can, we can prevent the future pandemics, we can prepare for the future pandemics and do proper budget allocation, track diseases and the spending, and we can do predictive analysis, streamline the healthcare process, and, inter, and we can do international collaboration. If we do medical coding in India by private hospitals, we can go for the international collaboration. And as per the Niti Aayog, healthcare can generate more than 2.7 million of jobs. And as I've seen in the previous slide, more than 5 lakh crores spent every year for the healthcare. So, to this optimize this spending the money, to improve the quality healthcare, to provide evidence-based care, to provide the value-based care for the patients, medical coding is vital. So, what I've seen from past 20 years is, all countries are benefiting by doing the medical coding, but in India, we don't have the system from the private healthcare. So, if everyone does the medical coding right from the day one, right from today, it can benefit a country a lot. I'll just give an example. Yesterday, Throughout the India, there may be 10,000 malaria cases, 10,000 typhoid cases, maybe 20,000 cancer cases. But there's no data with uh, any, anyone. Because private hospital, they don't do medical coding. Tomorrow in the paper, if you see in the paper saying that, okay, there are 10,000 cases of malaria in, in one district or one state, the government knows, okay, there's a place where you have to spend some money, take some to measure. This is possible only by doing the medical coding. So, <clears throat> I want to conclude here. So, medical coding is very much vital in India, especially by the private healthcare entities. And if it's not going to be implemented shortly, the healthcare is going to collapse. This is going to be a big disaster because spending the money, spending the money, spending the money, but not using the right way for the right person because without proper data. So medical coding is vital for the in healthcare system. Yeah. Thank you.